recently spoke with Young at Heart. That's our seniors here at the church. And a couple things inspired me. I met a woman in her 90s who has been sharing her faith every single week for over 40 years. Just goes out into the city, starts conversations, and shares Jesus. Uh, many people wanted cards about our church to hand out to their friends and people they live next to. And then one person just said, can you give me a little help in sharing my faith? So here's something simple for all of us. Prayer, care, and share. In Acts chapter 3, we see that Peter and John, they were going down to pray together, starting with prayer. Then they saw a man who was crippled. And they came next to him and they said, in the name of Jesus, walk. Now you might not be able to do that exact same thing every day, but the point is you'll see physical needs. We have people in our church who are just driving around town, see physical needs, take someone out to eat, bring them over to the church, help them to get some clothes and get back up on their feet. So meeting physical needs. And then the last one is share, sharing your faith. And Peter and John, they announced, you know, it's in the name of Jesus, this man is healed. And he was killed, but God raised him from the dead. In the name of Jesus, there's life, eternal life. And so just that simple thing, prayer, care, and share. Every neighborhood I've lived in, that's kind of been my approach. And so what about where you live? Would you start praying for your neighbors? Think about a way you can care for them and meet a need, and then share your faith. Opportunities are gonna come when you care for people. Then ask God for the courage, share your faith. Real simple, prayer, care, and share. With God's help, we can do it all over this city. And that's a church that changes the world.